Um, so biofilm, what happens is that we all have bacteria in our mouth. It's normal to have bacteria in the mouth. Um, it starts as kind of free-floating bacteria, and it, starts, and it actually starts to grow into colonies. So we like to educate our patients about this and talk about the colonies all the time. We say this word over and over again to every patient. Um, basically, when they form colonies, um, the inner bacteria that can't survive in oxygen are allowed to um, stay towards the inner of those colonies, and so they can thrive and live. Um, and then the outer bacteria, they circulate nutrients, and basically this is like their whole little um, family that helps them to grow and thrive better in their mouths than, than they would be if they were individual bacteria. Um, so it's all about the bacteria. So these are a few of the things that I've written down. You guys can see them on the notes that I've given you that we say to the patients over and over again every day. Um, so we all have bacteria in our mouths. This is normal. And there are certain types of bacteria that cause gum disease and these bacteria are anaerobic. And we tell our patients this, it's very important, and it's also a good lead into some of our products. For example, the closest product, which is an ox oxygenating uh, agent in it, um, it's a good uh, lead to tell the patient that the bacteria is anaerobic. Um, this means they cannot survive in oxygen. So what happens um, is that the bacteria, the anaerobic bacteria, they live in colonies or biofilm, and they protect themselves from the oxygen, and they live as deep as they can underneath of the gums. Um, to stay away from the oxygen. So when you're flossing, you're actually disturbing and introducing oxygen into those bacterial colonies. And this kills off the bacteria and stops them from producing their toxins, which cause the uh, gum disease. Um, you have to floss every day. And we stress this with our patients all the time. You have to floss every day. It's not just about removing the food from between your teeth. That it does. Um, but it's about disturbing those bacterial colonies and introducing oxygen into the colonies and they can reorganize themselves approximately every 30 hours. So patients get really interested in that fact in particular um, because some patients think it's okay if they floss every other day or, or three times a week. Um, but we, um, in the back, really, yeah, or just your front teeth. You know, make them pretty, get the food out or whatever, right? Um, but it's super important that the patients know that the bacteria can reorganize themselves about every 30 hours. So you have to stay on top of them every day. So if um, you know, patients are asking questions up front or if you get a chance to talk to them, like I say, these are some of the things that we say that you can say up front as well.